chat up lines up his sleeve, hasn't he? Oh, yeah, brilliant. <laughs> now, Lara sort of falls for those. How would you react in, in real life, though, Tams, in yourself to some of those cheesy one-liners? Um, cheesy one-liners make me cringe. Um, and I, I kind of clam up. I don't know what to do. I had one hilarious one once, um, and a, bo- a boy on a train showed me his, his stomach and went, do you like this? And I went, oh, um, yeah, thank you. Uh, that's very nice or something. He went, I said, well, I've got a boyfriend. He went, does your boyfriend have this? And I was thinking, well, what do you really want to say? I'm clearly not interested in your heart. This is really awkward. So I'm not good in that situation at all. I would definitely not swoon with... But, you know, it is Antonio Banderas. The, the six-pack, though, was there at least? No. No. Oh, I don't think. <laughs> um, could you talk us through some of the voice cast? It's like a who's who, really, isn't it, of the entertainment industry? Mm. Just some of the Absolutely. people Absolutely. Well, we have Charles Dance. We had Alfred Molina. We have Rupert Everett, Olivia Williams, uh, Freddie Highmore, Shesh Ronan, um, David Wallians. Antonio Banderas. Um, who else? Have I, uh, I'm, 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 there's so many of us. I don't know if I've missed anyone out. But we've got oh Julie Walters. We have an amazing cast. It's it's uh, yeah. It was you know it's been an honour to work with them. Well, it's good that you didn't and Julie Walters because she's she's got Julie to that Walters, level, hasn't she? Really, exactly. Julie, Wal- Julie Walters exactly. And um, and what did you just finally particularly enjoy about voicing a character? The sort of freeness, I suppose, that comes with that, maybe going to work in your pyjamas rather than <laughs> having to sit in hair and makeup for hours, for instance. Yeah, people say that. I think, it's, for me, the creative process is also the way you, you look. I mean, it's important, not necessarily to look good, it's sometimes to look worse or, or you know, to, to kind of, you know, change your hair colour. So I actually enjoy that bit. But for me, the, it was the discipline of just working solely on your voice, which I absolutely loved. And, uh, and kind of learning how exaggerated you needed to be for certain things to come across and, and, and throwing yourself around to really get those oomphs and those sighs and those, you know, to, just to make it as realistic as possible. Um, and, and also funny, trying to get some comedy in there and then trying to get some real emotion when you're crying. And it's, it's an amazing lesson on, on, you know, our vocal cords as well. I used to sing, so I am obsessed with, with, with voice anyway. Um, but this was my first animation, so to have that opportunity was, um, was a dream come true, really. Thanks very much.